I have a listing on a Craigslist for a free Bible and the Passion of the Christ. Maybe one or two months ago, a particular person contacted me for those items. After a while, I went to that person's home. And surprisingly, that person offered me to come in their home, which usually don't happen too often. <laughs> so that person started to speak to me. And so many words, that person told me that he had surgery and they removed one of his lungs. And he told me that it is difficult for him to breathe. And he said that his life have been short. I am paraphrasing. Either to years or months. I forget. And in so many words, that person was saying to me, because of this, he wants to take his life much more seriously. I believe he told me that his family is not really religious. So from my understanding, I guess they are atheists. And you may say to me, Kevin, why are you telling me this? Why? It took that person, I believe, it took that person for his lung to be removed, for bad news to come to him, for him to want to be serious about his life. So it took that, his current situation, for him to become serious about God. What I am saying to you, why have really, really bad things happened to you in order for you to change? Why get cancer? Why get AIDS? Why get so many bad things to come to you in order for you to change? Am I saying that everyone that is sick now is in sin? No, I am not saying that. What I am saying, from my understanding, God does not want us to go to hell. So I believe he is willing to allow bad things to happen to us in order for us to change. So why even go through those bad things when you can change now and have a less difficult life? Yes, when you serve God, yes, bad things may happen to you. No, are going to happen to you. Perhaps I should say maybe. When you serve God, I believe bad things are going to happen to you. But why have all of these bad things come to you because of disobedience? When I was younger, I used to get so sick. So sick. And at a certain time, I was more fit than how I am now. And back then, 
I was so sick. So sick. But I was so much in sin. Ever since I started to serve God, I believe, my health increased so much. I hardly ever get sick now. Hardly ever. Why? So a person can say, hey, perhaps you got sick because you were in sin. Because... Back then, I would do exercises and eat a certain way, blah, blah, blah. Now, I don't really do 80%, I guess I can say, 80% of what I used to do, by far. So why am I more healthy now than before? So... A person can say, hey, perhaps it is not about the earthly, it is about the spiritual. Make sense? So, the best thing to do is to change now and have a less difficult life. Yes, serving God may be difficult, but I believe dealing with cancer is difficult. I believe dealing with diabetes and all of this other stuff is difficult. So if you are being punished by illnesses because of disobedience, it is best to change now and have things get better for you. Because think about this, if it takes cancer for you to change, I believe receiving cancer is much more better than to be thrown into hell. <laughs> Let me stop here. God bless you. Make sure you tell someone that you love them. God bless you.